Hey, what's up coders? All right, today we'll be looking at a very simple, simple task, but a lot of persons are unaware of how to get it done. So, all right, so you've gone ahead and you've created your web page and you've now implemented Bootstrap. So this is my page here um, for a trucking service that I just dreamt up. All right, so we have up here one, two, three, four bootstrap buttons, and they are basically the default, so they are blue. So they are blue. So basically, what you want to do, let's just say you want to overwrite this bootstrap style and to create one of your own. All right, how do you go about doing that? So, first of all, let me bring up my editor here. I'm using Atom. All right, so Let's go to the HTML. So first of all, reference your boot, your Bootstrap um, CSS. So this is mine. I'm using actually a CDN. You can actually download your Bootstrap button um, CSS. Sorry, if you want. But this is just I'm using the CDN, and this CDN is actually available on the Bootstrap website. So there is mine. All right, the next thing you need to do to override your Bootstrap C C CSS is to create your own style sheet. And this is mine. It's called Truck, um, Truck CSS. I know, pretty original, right? And this is it. And one of the main things is to make sure that whatever, wherever you reference your Bootstrap CSS, that your style sheet that is going to overwrite your Bootstrap is below it. So let's just say you put your Bootstrap CSS reference first, the link to it, and then beneath that, it doesn't have to be immediately beneath it because notice we have some other CSS here for my Google Web Fonts. But under that, you have your other, well, your local CSS or whatever you created. All right, so back to my HTML. So right in here, we have our button, button type equal button class, BTN, BTN primary, pretty standard stuff right here. So let's just get into it. And when I'm editing my CSS, I normally like to use my developer tool. So let me just bring up my developer tool here. So I inspect, bring up my developer tool. This is a simple thing to do. All right, so right now we have our color being blue. Let's just say we didn't want it to be blue. Let's just say we wanted it to be the color of the this 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 right in here which is i think this is pink all right so that's it we've changed it into pink so in order for this when you refresh your browser what you're going to notice is this style or this color goes it becomes whatever color it was and let me change the border color on this button to be that same color right there so what you want to do is to overwrite that btn primary so let's just say i'm copying my btn primary you could actually write that but i'm just too lazy so i'm showing you the lazy easy way to do it so i just copied my style out and then i'm just going to bring up my local style sheet which is the one that i've created which is called truck yours will probably be called something utterly different and i'm just pasting it there and it's a class obviously can't be a a id because it's not an id in your bootstrap css it's actually a class and then i'm saving it make sure to save it and then you simply go back to your page you can close this and if i refresh my page voila what you notice is this is sticking and staying all right so pretty much it it will still retain some level of bootstrappiness but technically what you get is it's override for the best part of it you can even change let's just say we wanted to change the um button size or stuff or even add something to it like a let's just say a width a width of um 10 pixels not sure what that will look like and see starts to mutate our buttons a bit and we could turn it down turn it up turn it to the default settings just 
bring it all wide and stuff could literally change how our buttons are laid out or whatever um so and we could copy this and if you want this to stick and stay we do the same process we did before which is we bring up our local css and we just add that that um selector and property to our to our local style sheet and pretty much that's it guys it's very simple but a lot of persons will do that and by the way it's not in case you wondered it's not just about um buttons it's also how you change um fonts or any bootstrap feature that's built in all right guys thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and tell me that you like it encourages me to make more videos like that and thank you guys who subscribe i've not forgotten you i've just not had the chance to make as much videos as i used to but more videos are coming all right thanks for watching